Welcome back to the Daily Dope Show. Your host, Brando. You're telling you about the shit going down. Um, you can get these stories from my friend. <laughs> well, not really my friend. If I ever met him, I probably we probably would get along, I guess. I don't know. Tom Angel. He was on the beat today. And boy, were the stories pouring in. Um... <clears throat> And yeah, I'm I'm not a news guy. He's a news guy. And there's also another guy. He's like a radio guy. His name is Russ Belleville. Um, and he's the radical rant guy or whatever, radical Russ. <clears throat> You'll see him in High Times and other publications and the cannabis world, as will you with Tom Angel, because he's probably got his ear to the ground more than anybody I've ever known. <laughs> Um, and I'm going to start off with the, uh, <clears throat> the big story coming out of the Senate. So this time it's Cory Booker. Before we had, uh, Tulsi Gabbard, um, there's congressmen lined up almost a dozen deep, um, <clears throat> and they're all yammering in Washington about doing something with these crazy marijuana laws in the federal level. You know, that shit that Jeff Sessions is always saying uh, that we should uh, do something about. Man, I always don't know if I'm recording or not, but yep, I'm recording. So, like, you know, you you heard Jeff Sessions say it, like, oh, if you don't like the laws, change them. It's almost like one of those authoritarian things that, you know, if you don't like it, you can do something about it. So it's like it's one of those snide, like fucking non comments that always is just meant to piss on your day, just to ruin your day. So, you know, we had some uh I don't know if you'd call them like half hearted attempts to remove marijuana from the Controlled Substances Act. That's essentially what we're going for here. When you're talking about people like me, um, eventually I would like to see prohibition completely erased. Uh, I don't know if that would be like gay marriage where the Supreme Court's just like, you know what? I don't know what you guys are talking about, man. Do it. You know, like, that's kind of what they would say about uh, cannabis. Doesn't cannabis fall under, like, the pursuit of happiness, individual liberty, uh, you know, all the things that the right-wingers are always like, oh, we love our liberty over here. We love our liberty on the right. Freedom. That's all you hear from them guys on the right. You right-wingers, hello. Where are you guys at, man? This is a fucking freedom issue, if I've ever heard of one. And it starts with unraveling the bullshit, since since the Supreme Court ain't about to hear it. Um, I guess we have to start with getting cannabis taken out of this Controlled Substances Act bullshit. I would vote for, you know, like, let's just get rid of the CSA altogether. FDA is a fucking joke, and the DEA shouldn't even exist. Like, are you kidding First of all, prohibiting substances is, I'm pretty sure it's not constitutional. There's no fucking way that could be a constitutionally sound policy. But then they use that to get rid of all your other constitutional rights. You don't have no freedom of speech. You don't have no, you know, your personal property and papers can be fucking searched just because they smell weed. (sighs) It's ridiculous. So the first thing, I guess, baby steps, we need to get it out of the Controlled Substances Act, and the states need to enact laws. This thing that uh, Cory Booker put forward um, even takes it a little bit farther than the normal get it out of schedule, but it also criticizes the state laws. I, we're just going to read this garbage article from the Daily Caller. I, I say that because I don't know why I'm reading the fucking Daily Caller to get this story, but... Here I am, and I find myself, I have already uh, looked through it and whatnot, but whatever, you know. It just goes to show that no matter what the source is, no matter how right-wingy or garbagey or just straight up, just, I don't even know what, sensational news only. Look at these side headlines. I mean, it's just ridiculous. Um, But yeah, let's see. Democratic Senator Cory Booker of New Jersey is proposing what pot advocates... Pot, advocacy, that's what I'm talking about right there. What cannabis advocates say is the single most far-reaching marijuana legislation 
uh, legislation ever submitted in Congress. Booker, the junior senator from New Jersey, is filing a bill Tuesday that would alter the longstanding policy of marijuana prohibition at the federal level. Legislation would allow the federal government to punish states with discriminatory enforcement of marijuana laws by withholding federal funds to states found to have racially disproportionate marijuana arrests and incarceration rates. As in, we shouldn't be arresting anybody for marijuana, but turns out they really just like to arrest uh, black and brown people for it. Because they just don't like black and brown people, and marijuana just happens to be one of the only reasons you can arrest somebody for absolutely no fucking reason other than the marijuana. The legislation, dubbed the Marijuana Justice Act of 2017, also removes the classification of pot as a Schedule One drug alongside narcotics like heroin. This is a no-brainer in today's uh, world of knowledge and you know, in the midst of a crisis where people are dropping like flies from heroin. It's a fucking no-brainer, man. What's cannabis doing on the schedule, dude? Ain't like I know anybody that's dropping dead from that. So, all stoner jokes aside, why the fuck is this on Schedule 1? If even at all on any schedule. Schedule 2 kind of would make sense if it wasn't for the fact that it shouldn't be that controlled because it's not that dangerous, the only reason you guys want to control it so much is because you can't control it. If you could control it, then it wouldn't be a Schedule 1, would it? That just says that you uh, you have lost all ability to control it, so you're just going to get militant about it. And that's what you fucking become, is a military operation working against the citizens of your own country. Because somebody out there don't like fucking weed. So, yeah, quote, this is the single most far-reaching marijuana bill that's ever been filed in either chamber of Congress, Tom Angel, chairman of the Marijuana Majority, told the Daily Caller News Foundation. More than just getting the federal government out of the way so that states could legalize without DEA harassment, this new proposal goes even further by actually punishing states that have bad marijuana laws. Polls increasingly show a growing majority of voters' support for legalization. Uh, So this is something that more senators should be signing on to right away. And I have tried to contact my senators. Apparently it's a little easier to do during business hours. So tomorrow I will call, I'm in Michigan, Senator Gary Peters and Senator Debbie Stabenow. I mean, Stabenow? Whatever. If these guys aren't on board with this, then what the fuck are, what are my senators even good for? Have you ever heard Debbie Stabenow or Gary Peters in the fucking news doing anything? No. Oh, yeah, they voted for Hillary even though the fucking state went for Bernie. But we're not going to talk about their voting record because they're both, both, are, both of their voting records are shit. You even see them voting along Republican lines sometimes. It's, just, it's pretty sad. Come on, guys, get with the program. Republicans recently joined Democrats on the Senate Appropriations Committee to deny General Attorney Jeff Sessions um, the power to interfere with state marijuana laws. A bipartisan rebuke came after numerous attempts at Sessions to petition Congress to give the Department of Justice power to crack down on state uh, legalization laws. Um, Yeah, well, this... Says something about the committee overwhelmingly approved the Rauenbacher Blumenauer Amendment, which um, was uh, Leahy, Patrick Leahy was the one that sponsored it this time. It it doesn't matter. The people that signed on to this when it originated are always on it. This thing has to be redone every whenever, since 2014, every fiscal year, or whenever, however long their budgets last. And so that's all I got on this. A um, few thoughts. Uh, first of all, it's, we're, in case you haven't noticed, the Senate and the House right now uh, pretty much can't get jack diddly shit done. It's like everybody's so divided, man. There's no way anything's even going to... This thing will never see the light of day. Sorry, Sessions, we've tried. We're trying so hard to change the laws, but you won't. You're, you're fucking Republican led Congress who don't like the people. They just like the fucking billionaires and the corporations. Well, they're not, they're not trying to let any of this shit 
get debated on the floor. They're not trying to have any of this shit come up for a vote. We basically had to sneak this in there and sneak that in there since 2014. And it's not just the Republicans, but since the Republicans are in charge, it doesn't matter how many Republicans sign on to this new thing. They're just not, there's two or three Republicans in the Senate and one or two in the House that'll never let any of this shit see the light of day. And that's fucking sad. And it's wrong. And this country's a piece of shit because of shit like that. You know, you want to talk about obstruction? That's fucking obstruction. You want to talk about collusion? That's fucking collusion. That's all these people colluding together to make sure cannabis remains illegal. And one of the reasons why is because this country is not about to try to go the other way on private prisons. It's not trying to go the other way on big pharma. It's not trying to go the other way here, the other way there. The biggest lobbies in the country, who are the biggest donors to all the politicians, also happen to be the people that want to keep this shit illegal. If you don't fucking believe it, go to Open Top Secrets and look into it. Keep in mind that Corrections Corporation of America has changed their name. Um, There's also lobby groups that lobby for these people that don't even use any name that sounds like, you know, it's even a lobby for anything, let alone for something sinister like, you know, uh, Purdue Pharma. So all these people, they're a joke. And I think Cory Booker knows that this thing ain't going to see the light of day. So he's like, hey, you know, if I want him to run for president, I got to have some progressive positions, man, or those Bernie crats aren't going to fucking put up with my bullshit. They already seen me fuck them over for big pharma on that whole, uh, Bernie Sanders says, uh, maybe you should be able to go to Canada to buy your prescriptions because they're fucking cheaper. And why shouldn't you be able to, this is America land of the free. I mean, if you wanted to go buy an illegal, uh, gun or something, you could go to Mexico and do that. I mean, maybe back in the day when the border went, wasn't so tight. I don't know. I, I don't get this shit. You know, like, why do we have so many good bills on the floor right now that could be at least, if they took a vote on it, you'd at least be able to, to hold your uh, representative's feet to the fire in 2018. And that's part of the reason why this shit never sees the light of day, because they know how fucking popular it is. This thing right here... If you polled this around the country, it, people would be in the 60% approval rating on this. Meanwhile, Congress has less than a 30% approval rating. The Democratic Party has about a 35% approval rating. The Republican Party has about a 32% approval rating. Donald Trump has about a 35% approval rating. You're starting to see a pattern here. Issues have good approval ratings Douchebag politicians are fucking drowning in shitty approval ratings. And that's all I got on that.